Hi, I'm Kimberly. Welcome to Simply Living in a Small Town. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you've been watching, I appreciate that so much. Also, if you've just started watching, I truly appreciate that as well. So, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday weekend, even though it uh, went very quickly um, in my world anyway. And it probably did for much of you as well. So, um, yeah, it was a busy weekend, and I don't know what it is, but my weekends seem to be as busy as my weekdays are. <laughs> so, a couple, two or three weeks ago, I got a bag of thrifted yarn. So, I'm going to show you the bag here real quick. It's a big, it's a big bag. This is the this is the price tag, yes, it's still, well, I can't even see that, but that's the price tag, it's still on it. But, so here is the bag. And it's full, as you can tell. It's like totally full. <sighs> Sorry, allergies. So my mother got this and she gave $10 for all this. I have waited now all I've, well, I've had it for about two weeks now. So I've waited so I can show you all what's in here. I have not even gone through all this. I just looked at like the top, what was in here. I will say I did some spy some things at the bottom already that um i mean that the bag was worth easily worth the 10 bucks let's say it's it was there's way more than 10 bucks in this bag so like this is just i'm like been so excited but I wanted to get this, <laughs> I wanted to show y'all before I dug into all this and started using it. So, and plus, I didn't want to take it all out of the bag, like, once, then twice. But you're going to see it all with me at the same time that I'm seeing it outside of what I could see on the top like this. So, I have never seen, I think there's another one. Hang on here. Yeah. So... There's a few of these actually. Look how look how big the skein is, y'all. <laughs> like there's there's no the fur ball. There's no ball band on this, as you can see. This is like huge though. This is I'm gonna guess probably like you know, I mean it's older yarn. I don't know if this would be red heart and it's just got really spread out or if this is something like totally different, that's, but th it looks like, I mean, it's regular acrylic yarn and it's not like the softest or anything, but it's not, it, it's not bad. But so there's like, I'm trying to find, there's like two more of these. That is like a lilac color. And then there's this that there's not as much of. It's like a camel kind of color. <clears throat> and then there's another one here that is this really pretty light kind of like springy type of a green which I think is really pretty now what I was actually thinking so um, I'm thinking that all three of these are the same but they might not be this one might be different it seems like this one is different than the other two texture and whatnot wise I don't know but anyway I think that I was thinking the three of those could be pretty in a blanket or a project or something I think the colors are really pretty together so I kind of had I kind of had in my mind, I was thinking about doing a blanket with these three. I just think that's super pretty um, together. But so none of those have ball bands. 
And I could tell most of this on the top anyway is older. So this has a label. Now this, this actually feels stiffer, but this says pop and yarn, super half pounder, no dye lot, made in USA, fiber from Japan. And it says it's off white is the color. So this is clearly, this clearly is older. I mean, look at the ball band. It's been beaten up. <laughs> and the price tag, this actually says it was originally came from Walmart on clearance. And I'm trying to read that. It was a dollar something. And then there's a price tag here from Goodwill. It says 99 cents. So, but this is like, I'm trying to see if this says it's 100% acrylic. I'm assuming, uh, yeah, 100% acrylic. Okay, which is what I figured. And machine washable and dryable. But um, it actually feels like, to be honest though, and that's kind of what it looks like to me, it, it feels and looks like, and to me anyway, like brushed acrylic. I don't know if you can see that kind of like f fuzziness. Oh, there you can see it a little bit. Like the fuzziness to it, like the brushed acrylic. So there's that. That could even go with these other three if I put them in a blanket together. Now, I know I'm going to run out of room here because I have, I have a bunch more in this bag, so. <laughs> <clears throat> I am looking, there's a bunch of these that do not have, do not have ball bands on them. So this is kind of a mess, but this is another acrylic yarn. It's very pretty though, the color. I think that's really pretty. And um, it's decently soft, but again, there's no ball band for that or label. Uh, same thing with, <clears throat> like I said, there's a bunch of them like that in the top of here. Uh, where is that going? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to kind of, well, I'll have to fix that later, I gather. So he's, here's a really light blue. It almost kind of looks um, like a mint green on there, but it's not. It's really like a baby blue. It's very, very light blue. This is pretty soft acrylic. This doesn't appear that any of this was even used, but again, no no label um, on that. <laughs> and then I thought, I'm trying to see, I thought there was a label. No, no, no label. <laughs> I thought there was one. I thought I saw one in here for this. I don't see it now. Or I don't see one, I should say. Well, anyway, so there's this. This is pretty, um, it's actually pretty soft, so I'm not sure. I think this is newer yarn, and I mean newer because this other yarn, you can tell that it's, it's old. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, um, this one, this was probably from when I was, like, a child, <laughs> to be honest. So, um... Yeah, this is quite newer, and that's really pretty. Too bad this is the only one in here, though. But this, it, what it reminds me of, it actually feels like um, the I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's real soft like that, and even the print kind of looks similar to something from there, but it's really pretty. Again, though, there's only one of them, though, and there's no, no label. Um, 
there is a ball of this. Well, I say that. It's not really in a ball. Hang on a second here. So I'll just show you. I'm going to obviously have to sit down and wind this. A lot of this I will probably have to wind, honestly, actually. But this is really pretty. Now that's five weight yarn. It's chunky yarn. It's really soft and sparkly, but it's kind of in a big old, it's kind of in a big old mess currently. But again, no ball band or anything, but that is really pretty, the color. It's really sparkly. I mean, that would make a really cute little hat, you know? You could at least get one hat out of that, if, if nothing else. <laughs> Okay, and then there are, and you'll see this is, this here is really old. Um, and this, and I say that, let's see, there's actually, is there three or, no, that is not, that's not even the same. That's not the same as this. I don't, I think this is though. Is this the same? Yes. Okay. There's three of these whites. Now, I will show you. This is old. Lion brand, say, like, say L. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I have never seen this yarn before. <laughs> and this is clearly, there's three of these. Uh, this is clearly, it's like really old. I was trying to see if I could find, I don't see any kind of year on it though, anywhere, but this yarn, okay, so if this says anything, if anybody knows anything about the older yarn, like the older, older yarn, 100% DuPont, DuPont Orlon Acrylic. Machine washable and dryable four ply knitting worsted weight. And this has a little tag from Goodwill that says 99 cents on it too. But I don't see, this has got to be like 70s. <laughs> it's making my nose itch. So there's three of these. And this is, I mean, this is really rough yarn, y'all. It feels like, like an old rug, <laughs> basically. I mean, it, I, it's definitely, uh, it feels more like nylon, to be honest. But yeah, so I don't, I'm not in love with that. But, you know, nonetheless, um, I'm sure I can use it for something. And then, so I thought this one was the same, but it is not. This is totally different. So this here is another, uh, another white. I'm trying to get that fur ball off of it. Okay. So this is Super Value Wintuck. Again, this is old. 99 cents again from Goodwill. Um, four ply, four ply worsted weight, 100% DuPont or on acrylic, which is, an, that's why it feels just like this one over here. <laughs> and they're two different brands, but yeah, that is just like, oh, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't like that texture. I'm just going to be real honest. I don't care for that. Moving on, <laughs> then here is like a lilac color or a lavender color. This feels like, this feels like, you know, red heart. That's probably what it is, I would imagine. Um, yeah, it's not as soft as this one. So this is probably, I imagine, but that's pretty. Again, no ball band, but, and some of it obviously was used. And then we have a 
Karen ate one of these anyway. Karen, a Karen Simply Soft. Again, it has a 99 cent Goodwill price tag on it. And this is really soft. It is a medium four weight. And the color is actually called Orchid. So similar to, because I said, because it is, it's like a lavender kind of color. So Orchid, that fits. 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. Now, um, this is probably 315 yards. This is probably obviously probably not like that old. Um, and it's very soft. I have, I gotta dig that back out, but I have some Karen Simply Soft actually. Um, I think I have three skeins. And it's a really pretty pink with a different colors in it. I can't remember. But anyway, um, I might I might be able to use this with this. You know, if not, I could probably use it for a hat or something. You know, something. I like that. I mean, um, I know a lot of people don't specifically like the Karen Simply Soft. I haven't used it a bunch, honestly, but I did work up like a little swatch of the other Karen Simply Soft that I have. And I mean, I really, honestly, I liked it even better after I worked it up. It's really pretty. The yarn is really soft. So, um, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, now I know y'all, well, I say that most of y'all We'll probably know what this is because I can tell you <laughs> right off the bat. Some of it's been used, but there's no label. But we can just figure what this is. Red Heart. <laughs> I can't remember the color way, but um, yeah, that's what that is. Um, it's very pretty. This is actually, it's looking more red right there but that is not it's a very deep burgundy in the front and then it's got the like mauve kind of color here and the lighter pink then and yeah i like this colorway actually and i just have not bought any yet because i have wanted to get some so i mean um you know you could take this and get well i could take some you know get some more of it or I could just make a hat or something with it I mean I'll figure out something something so then we have here's just some white yarn and this again has <laughs> has no ball band but this looks very thin if you can see that it looks really really thin especially let's see here um, see if I can get, I can show you. Yeah, that looks, looks yeah, it's definitely thin, on the thinner side. If you can see, oh my gosh, I'm not very good at, <laughs> there you go. You can see that that's noticeably thinner. It's pretty, pretty thin. You can always throw white into something, so I don't know on that. Now, as far as I'm concerned, we're getting down to the good stuff of the bag, really. Even though I do like the big skeins that were in the top, the, the three that I showed you at the very beginning, I really love the, like, lavender kind of color and the green and the tan. So, we have... And this is not what I'm referring to because I'm, I'm okay. I can use this. This was not what I was referring to the better stuff. But this is Red Heart. Man, that looks really red. <laughs> but it's not. It's like more. That does. That looks like a cherry red. But it's really more. It's not. It's, it, it's, it's more burgundy. And the funny thing is it's called burgundy. So... <laughs> This is definitely an older, you can tell by the label, this is an older Red Heart. Of course, 100% acrylic. I wonder how many, 
let's see, how many yards? Four ply worsted weight, net weight, eight ounces. But I don't see, I don't see anywhere where it says how many yards. But that's a whole, it's a whole skein, and that was 99 cents at Goodwill as well. But, yeah, that's definitely not a char cherry red. It's a deep burgundy. <laughs> okay, now, we got another Karen Simply Soft. It's very pretty. It's called Woodland Heather is a colorway. <clears throat> 100% acrylic, 250, it says approximately 250 yards. I wonder what the other, hang on a second, let's see what this one says. Oh, wow, really? Hmm. I wouldn't have guessed that. This says approximately 315 yards, the, the purple color, but this says this is approximately 250 yards. <laughs> and another Goodwill sticker there. So, that's really pretty. You could even put those two together. Uh, since that's like the same, like, you know, texture and all, because it's the same brand and everything. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I like it. Now, what I really like, and I did, I did already kind of see this, but <laughs> this just makes the whole bag worth the 10 bucks. Even, well, even with what I already got right here, that's, you know, makes the 10 bucks, but wait till you see what's in the bottom of here. Okay, I gotta, this is like, kind of, somebody started working up. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Okay, I think I know what they were. Hmm. All right, <laughs> I'm trying to surmise what I'm looking at here. That's pretty because there's a really nice swatch here. Somebody started working this up. So if you recognize this, that is the Premier Bloom Chunky. It's beautiful yarn. And I actually already have, I already have like one of these or two. I think I, I think I have more, but Here's another one. So that would make at least three that I have now. This says this is the um, Premier Bloom Chunky Big, 218 yards, 100% acrylic, seven ounces, 200 meters. I do not remember the colorway of this. Snapdragon, okay. So, and I love, of course I love this yarn. I love it, I love it, I love it. So. That's awesome because I think, I'm pretty sure I only have one of these. So now I have two more, which is awesome because I can definitely put all these together. Now, I'm going to show you. So that right there, like, <laughs> that makes my day. And that's not even all of it. But here's a really pretty, um, somebody started working up with this yarn. <laughs> I think that's pretty. I do... I'm not sure what they were making. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Hmm. But that's that's beautiful though. The yarn is just gorgeous. So there's that. But also then the last thing in the bag, the last three things. I'm gonna set this to the side. So this also makes this worth the ten bucks. So there's the big twist fleck is in here. It's got some really like reds, red flecks in that. Yeah, you can see it. And the color is coloring book. Hmm. It's very soft. I have wanted to get some of this yard, but I have not. But this is like, you know, newer obviously, especially compared to everything else here. 
85% acrylic, 10% polyamide, 5% linen, 208 yards, 3.5 ounces, 190 meters, 100 grams. And it's very soft. And so there's 208 yards here, but I have, so I have three, <laughs> I have three of these that are all, they're all the same color in that. So that's wonderful because that's 624 yards, a lot. But um, yeah, that's cool. This is kind of a, I'm gonna say furry yarn. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the like furriness. Eh, it's not really seemingly to show up, but it's pretty. It almost reminds me of alpaca, um, like that. But it's uh, this is made in Turkey, of course. But yeah, big twist. So Joanne yarn, that's very soft. That's nice. I like that. So that's the end of the bag. I mean, what do you think for the 10 bucks? Like, so my mother, oh, and these also had Goodwill tags of 99 cents on these. I like, you know, that was a deal. Um, so, but my mother picked this bag up for me. She had told me she had some yarn for me. And y'all, I was kind of afraid that she's she'd quit crocheting and whatnot or something because um, I'm trying to think, it was a couple months ago, she had both of her wrists re redone. Um, they, she has uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I have the same thing. But, sorry, I can't get my words out sometimes. <laughs> but, um, so she has... She, she had issues with her wrist. Um, the one wrist she actually broke probably 30 something years ago. So she had her wrist um, surgery on both her wrists and had those redone. And I had asked her like not too long after that. I said, so have you tried to crochet yet? And she said, actually, yeah, <laughs> this is a, she told me it was painful. So when she told me that she had some yarn for me, I was hoping that she wasn't like giving me, she wasn't like giving me her yarn. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that was good on that part. So anyway, I am thrilled with the yarn. I can't not wait to dig in and use, um, you know, some of this, especially that at the bottom, the Premier Bloom Chunky, obviously I can get more of that. Um, and then there's the nice, really nice fleck yarn. So like, I'm just excited, but I, I really even like this because I like chunky yarn. This is really soft. I almost wonder, let me know if y'all know, but this looks, I'll tell you what this looks like. Um, a yarn from Joanne. That was a like seasonal like Christmas um, colorway yarn. It chunky, it's chunky yarn. Um, I can't think of it, but they had like maybe five, six different colorways. But that's what it. I'm almost sure that's what that is. Um, but yeah, so I really like that. I may go on there and actually look here in a minute because <laughs> it's like I knew that looked familiar. I'm like, I think I've seen that before. But anyway, I really like this. So, I mean, I, I could potentially, I could potentially get more, but then, um, I tell you, I like everything except for the thin, the thin white yarn I showed you, the wind tuck. I don't like this <laughs> and it's not even cause it's old. It's cause it is, that's, that's awful. This and this. So like Lion Brand. Sayel or Sayel, I don't know how you say that. And the Wintuck. Those are the two. 
I don't care for out of this. Everything else I love. So everything else is great in my book. <laughs> so, so thank you so much for visiting. Um, if you know anything about any of these yarns, you can let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've used any of these or remember these, some of these older yarns. Um, or what are you working on today or this week? Or do you have plans? Like, you know, just let me know. So have a great day. See you next time. Bye and God bless.